a quiet neighborhood. Carrie Rose has lived on East Collard Street for about nine years. She's shocked about Madisonville Police Department's recent human trafficking and prostitution bust. You know, we knew about the, the, the drugs and we heard about the prostitution. I didn't know if it was just a, you know, a, a rumor. That bus just three houses down from where Carrie lives. I do have children. It's really hit close to home. Crimes police say were going on for about five years. In this circumstance, uh, Jennifer Kelly, the madam, she would reach out her hand, but then have ul ulterior motives. Police think that 12 people might have been involved. Girls as young as 13 years old forced into sex work. Also getting the prostitute victims hooked on drugs, a crime that police say is rare in this town. This is absolutely out of the ordinary uh, for small towns like this, especially such uh, faith based and close knit. Uh, communities like this. Though this type of crime often goes unreported, police ask the community to keep their eyes and ears open because this bust came from tips. What, number one is trusting your local law enforcement, coming to them uh, and reporting what's going on. Uh, you should never feel ashamed uh, contacting your local police department regardless of the crime. Um, it, is, it is our job to help you. Police are in the process of serving eviction notices to those living in this home. We, we appreciate, like I said, the police and, um, and for them going you know, out of their way and, and investigating and we just, we just want it cleaned up. Giving Carrie back a sense of security. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.